Everyone, it's me, the Master Wong. I'm back again in Newport. Try four hours up here to asking another question, especially for you. And I have my friend here. Change the tricks, sir. And you asked me about, you know, on this all the time, how to create power onto the kick. Now, create power on the kick, it still all depends. So I come up here, drive up here to four hour drive and ask this question for you. Now, Ginger Ninja. You know, a lot of time you see your kick when you're moving around very fast. Fast movement, speed, mm -hmm. it creates power yeah. behind it. When you see your move, it's a lot of power behind it. Speed okay? and mass, yeah. the, the speed and the power and everything. And the, the way you attack, it's like quite definite when you start attacking certain spots. Yeah? Yeah. So how, they're asking how you create that kind of power to be able to drive to someone, you know, when you're training, when you're at home. So how do you do that? Then? Well, first of all, it's, it's mainly about learning the, the correct technique of the, the motion because once you've got the correct technique, you already kind of have the principles of, principles of the balance and then uh, already your body weight in the correct position to do the technique. So you're already onto a win and start. Then it's more about driving your weight into it. So rather than just being in balance and lifting and flicking the leg out for speed, obviously speed creates you know, a, a bit of power to a degree, but then we want the mass to go in there as well. So obviously I wouldn't just flick out and use this. So boom, then Come see that slight little movement I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing. So then my body weight's going in with it as well. So then it creates more mass, more damage, rather than just being a flick of the leg and coming from the knee. Mm -hmm. And the speed obviously will still damage or stun you, mm -hmm. but it won't be enough to drop you and, to... and then maybe potentially end it. Some of you are asking about free basic kick, okay? A free basic kick, okay? Free basic kick that helping you to learn. So the fun kick, yeah, front kick, side kick, the side kick, the basics. and the round kick, the free basic kick. Because not as you know, you're watching his stuff into many, many different uh, kick and stuff that become, uh, you know, overwhelmed for you. You said, I can't jump like that. That's why I chose him free basic for you to understand the basic. The okay, so now this free basic kick, kick I want to follow my friend here again. You love, do you love this friend, the pop here? And to do this free basic kick to create power, start with a front kick first. Where okay. do you start from there? So I kind of explain. Uh, a, a bit of the the incorrect positions mm -hmm. of the, the body. So if I'm here, a lot of people when they, they do the, the front kick, they to lift the leg up. They do this, mm -hmm. and you see my back's already going back. Right. So unless I drive it afterwards, it'll be kind of more of a push. Mm -hmm. But my body weight is going that way. So when I kick, I'm actually going away from the kick. Right. So now there might be a little tiny bit of a thud in there, still you know potentially damaged, but I'm not in a good position. Mm -hmm. So I want to be having the body come forward as, as the unit. Now, I'm not committing to fall, mm -hmm. because obviously if I commit, commit everything and I'm missing something, then, then I problem. fall forward and it's and a problem. Attack. Yeah, so I want to be putting the body weight into it, but also have the control to change it if I need. So I can, I can um, use this foot at any point to change what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So as I, I'm kicking, I'm getting the body weight forward. But now, so, as you can see, I can, I can either recoil to kick again or, or do, do something, but, or push it full. But the best one normally is to actually just go kind of drop straight down to, right. to go in techniques. There's loads of different ways. A lot of people say pull back and recoil, but there's a lot of martial arts so you don't actually need to recoil. Mm -hmm. you, you kick and you're already there, like right. bang, you walk straight into the hand. Obviously, if you hit the body, the, the head's already coming into this as well. So you're preparing from the fall in, into your strike. So that particular fun kick here, yep. now where's the most power come from? From the this leg or the well, back leg? You're generating from the floor, pushing through the floor. Obviously, all, all energy ge generates through the floor. Right. We, need, we need to use our legs. Yeah. We're going through and we're using it, transferring all the way through our body weight and in. So we've got a complete mass going into the technique. Right. We don't want to be moving away from the target. Right. We want this mass driving forward. So we're here and boom, Bam. we're driving. As you can see, then there's a, a lot of force behind the technique. Right. Give me one more hard one in there. Yes, yeah, here. Bam! So literally, that will land directly under your shoulder plate. Well, there's loads of different areas. As you see, I was striking all around this area. We can go mm -hmm. to the groin, we can go to the bladder, we can go to the, the gut. Solar plexus is one of the main ones you'll hear about, and that's very devastating wind you and just mm -hmm. completely and then or throat, right. depending how. Throat or chin for the head back. <laughs> Even depend your flexibility. depends on the flexibility. flexibility. Yeah. Okay, so that's the fun kick. So the round kick then? With, with the rain kick, same principle, it's getting that body weight going in. Um, a lot of people, again, just kick from the leg or they just use the turn of their hips. They don't actually use their body weight dri driving mm -hmm. with it. Um, so we want to use our whole mass as we're going. Bam. We're driving. So literally the whole boom, body moving as a ripping. unit. And also the extension, obviously, through will create more power as well. A lot of people aim 
to hit just the target. You right. want to aim for the target, you're aiming through it right. to cause the damage. So when you're driving the power from there, can you go through a little bit slowly to yeah, get yeah, to the sure. body where the body... So, yeah, a lot of people, they actually emphasize this step. Obviously, it's a bit of a telegraph, so you might not want to, want to put that in. Or yeah. you disguise it with By a punch or something hand, like yeah. this. You get your body weight set. Whole body. You're swinging in. So if we go more for the ribs, bro, you can see the extension now. Not fully extended, but this will then drive through the body. Right. To give the power, the energy going into them. Right. Because a lot of people, they might kick full power for here, and then but then flick. see it doesn't go through, it flicks. Yeah. Bam. go here now it goes right. in and sinks in and you'll break the ribs right give me one more on that hard one so make sure make sure you're breaking rip of the pop now rip of the pop it's been broken <laughs> at least not mine so that's the power <laughs> for of the, the the kick onto round one so the last one will be side kick yeah the side kick i kind of covered this a little bit in the other one but it's not nice to, to put it all in again it is driving driving your body weight in into the technique but mm -hmm. also being controlled getting your body weight above this leg mm -hmm. A lot of people will lean back to the flexibility aspect for the psychic. So they tend to do this and then they have got their weight this right. way. Exactly the, the same principles. So you want to be driving through. And if you are doing a controlled lean, you can still do it if, if you understand the kick. But you drop down and dip in. Right. And now we're there. I can keep the power and I still have the controlled lean to avoid maybe right. some of the spin kicks that are coming in. We generally see obviously in Taekwondo more so. So principles of their body driving in, the hips going forward. Again, it's not just the leg. A lot of people use this. Mm -hmm. You want to be body. driving. Bam! The whole body. And using the correct part of the foot and on all of these will cause more damage because obviously you're going to penetrate and dig into the target and that's what's going to cause the damage as well. Cool. So basically you see that already. Three basic kicks that you can practice at home. And to do that, again, like I mentioned, body position or what to, if you go home and then you go and say to myself, yeah, but I got nobody practice. Where can I find a school down there around me? Now to train it until leg side, it's not all Taekwondo people created equal. Find somebody you like, ask somebody different you styles, want, different, different style, different organization. He will talk to you, you a bit more it, about yeah. it. And then he can understand it. Uh, what is it? <clears> so for somebody who wants to say, yeah, I love that type of kick. I love it. Where can I find a good one? What is your recommend well, you, on that? If you like more of like the style I'm doing, mm. being a bit more open-minded, I like to do like speed and power. And you know, for me, I, I love ITF, International Taekwondo Federation. They tend to do both sides. It's a little bit different. You might know Olympic. That's mm. what most people perceive Taekwondo to be, which is more of the hands down. Um, ITF is a little bit more different because we punch to the face of so the hands are, are gen genuinely up rather than thinking of it floating. The only time we float our hands, obviously, if we're further distance away, mm -hmm. so we know we're not going to get hit with the hands, and then the hands come up as we go closer. Mm -hmm. so, so it makes more sense. So I'd say going into Taekwondo, kickboxing, Muay Thai, all great striking arts, that you'll end up learning good principles for the kicks. The only thing I find uh, why they say Taekwondo is more of a kind of uh, a high bar is because we try and do the variations of the kicks, whereas Muay Thai you'd be fixed with the right. power, so mm -hmm. then they won't, might might not learn lifting the leg straight right. for, for the speed aspect. Right. So obviously speed can be a stun. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to hit, hurt you with this one. Mm -hmm. I stun you and then I knock you out with these. You know, so you've got different principles and that's why I well, I, I got drawn to ITF because of the, my dad, the open-mindedness of how he, he teaches in a different, different way and that's basically the ITF way. So that's what you got in. Find the right one, find the one that you like, ITF training, onto the kicking side, then you know you're gonna love it. From me here, the Master Wong here. Ginger Ninja Trickster. And if you want to ask anything down here, ask, and then I will be here to answer all your questions. And again, you want to check out one of our friends. Kung Lee, check him out, he's awesome. He's an awesome guy. He do a lot of stuff that news into UFC because he don't use that in UFC. Okay, yep. he knew that a lot Keep of my brain cells and Lucky Kung's kept his as well. You see, <laughs> he used it in different way. <laughs> Kung Lee used it in to the UFC. So we're going to talk to him a lot and do a lot of stuff together because you know you love a lot of kicking stuff that because one of the I, I love uh, watching kicking stuff because uh, Bruce Lee, you know, you know, yeah, Bruce yeah. Lee do a lot yeah, of kicking. Lee. Everybody loving it. That's where I join in. That's why I come up here to ask him for some information for you to able to understand. So all that for you to know. And if you like 
like this kind of thing and make sure to go on his channel, check him out and subscribe to him to learn all the basics that you need to learn and make sure make use of it. And if you like, Kung Lee to some stuff and go and check him out. That is for UFC to make it work on everything. He the man and anything else, ask me and we'll be here. The Master Wong and... The Engineer Trickster. Ow! You understand? Now, this is where grappling is very important, yeah? Uh, you want to say one side over here because otherwise you can't see this, I can't see this, I can't see stay on one side. If I'm here, if, I, if he, if he know he got weapon, he will stop my hand. Now what happening is now he grabbed my hand now, didn't it? Now if I don't understand about how to release myself, I will, I will stuck here. See, I'm not going to see, I'm stuck here, I'm dead. So the most important thing in learn how to release, when you release yourself when you get here. Okay, now you're here, very difficult to release, it's, it's stuck. Then we apply called pain compliment. Wham! <laughs> See? Now release. Now move. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because you get in that movement, you've got no fiction for you.